Come on here. It's time for the shop report with Barbershop J. What up, sports fans? Welcome to the Shop Report. I'm Barbershop J. I'll be your host for the day. <laughs> Here's what's happening. As always, we like to remind you, the shop, of course, is being powered by none other than the fine folks over at Rocket Digital Media. It's the one-stop shop for all your digital marketing needs. You can look them up on Facebook at RDM Detroit, or you can hop on over to the website. That's rocketdigital.net, R-O-C-K-I-T, digital.net. And when you're there, or excuse me, make sure when you're there or while you're there, you tell them the BSJ sent you. Just wanted to let everybody know, yes, indeed, we are live via the shop's Facebook fan page. So therefore, joining me on the P-Rogram today is none other than my cat from the NYC, excuse me, a.k.a. <laughs> Rucker Park, <laughs> Brother Rich. What's happening? <laughs> I, well... <laughs> Except for the fact that, you know, we got to talk about Dallas again today. I'm always on the oh, uh, man. program. I'm always on to be here. You know, and I know you, we know you just came back. We're not even 10 we know, minutes, we know, we not even we 10 seconds just, into the show. We know you just came back from Miami. Okay. So you, we already know what it is. We already know yeah. what it is. How are you feeling, though? Did you, you look like you got a nice tan down there in Miami. <laughs> yeah. Down there in no, South Beach with the boys. No. Who's no, you hanging not, out? Ro, Ro no. Marley? Ro, Ro no. Marley? You was hanging no, out? No, I'm a Marley now. Oh, I know, I know. But no, it's not a tan. Actually, it's not a tan. <laughs> it's not a tan it's just the lighting in the room is bad and on the other side of the ledger we got my man from up north well i don't know where he went to just now <laughs> joey james aka double j tell the people what you <laughs> <There> say <laughs> uh and double j would you gonna disappear on us for that you see what i'm saying oh absolutely not yeah okay well i gave him the introduction folks but apparently he's hiding in the closet somewhere but that's not gonna stop us <laughs> without further ado um well let me first apologize to our listeners and our followers i love it for coming for come oh now you want oh now you want to chime in for coming late to the party with this first one but in the world of women's tennis, uh, Naomi Osaka had a few choice words to say in regards to speaking to the media. And it's not so much what she said. And I'm not going to read what she said because I'm sure everybody by now already knows what she said, you know, and they have their thoughts on why she said it. And of course, we have ours. But there's something that she said, you know, in particular when she said citing mental health. And of course, those media outlets took that and ran with it. And you have to be very careful with the verbiage used to describe what she did, because as of, as the at the time I decided to put this all together, as most people have on their platforms, uh, you know, this was maybe a few days ago. Since then, she's uh, withdrawn from Roland Garros or from the French Open or whatever the competition in regards to you know being fined or something or another to that effect. Again, if you want to, you know, go to the details of the whole deal, you can check that out, I'm sure, on, you know, Yahoo and all the various uh, other media outlets. But when they said citing mental health issues, Brother Rich, I want to ask you first, and we'll, of course, we'll wait till my man Double to get back. Uh, is that literal or figurative? figurative? No, I think that's very literal, especially in the case of this young lady who has indicated initially in some of her initial appearances that she's not comfortable with the media spotlight. You can look at this young lady and see she is not trying to be a Kardashian. She's not a young woman that's interested in some right. consistent camera presence. And let's not, let's, 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 let's not uh, uh, mince words here. There's an air of racism here where this young woman is not allowed to, to, she now has to give her medical history and tell what's going on in her personal parts of her life and what the, the things that she's been dealing with now, we know since for several years, right. just to not speak to the press. Who are the press that you have to speak to them? When did this be? Now, there are so many other players that don't have any problem speaking to them. But right. And then and, and Naomi Osaka is saying not that she minds speaking to the press. That's not what she said. She said that Thank members you. of the press, some members of the press use the opportunity to bash the players 
and also do little. Subtle, little things to belittle them, to discourage them. And she wants to be and needs to be as in order to perform at her peak, she prefers to be in a particular peculiar space. Remember now, Naomi Osaka is also Japanese. She grew oh, up Japanese. Right. Their culture is very reserved. They're not a people that are given to a lot of forward behavior. So she's a Japanese woman. She should be respected. We talk about women. The world harbors and all these movements and me too. And they're talking about women. This is a woman uh, choosing to be how she wants to be in terms of her career path. And if she's not comfortable in front of the media, why not make an exception for her? She didn't say I never will speak to the media. She says I've chosen in this tournament not to speak to the media because it's historically been a very difficult and challenging thing for me. I don't think that should be a problem. Absolutely. She should be taken quite literally. Yeah. And, you know, I'm glad you said it that way, because I was going to say it's a combination of both. And here's why I say that to your absolute to your points. Matter of fact, <laughs> I'm give you the button. All your points were on. Oh, I get, a, on. I get the button. That's not Yeah, the you get that button. particular oh, button. Wow. No, no, I, but trust me, you, 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 you <laughs> always do for the other ones. The other ones are coming, I'm sure. Uh, but I think it's a combination of both. And again, to your points, they were all valid, no doubt. But what you said in particular is what I gathered out of the whole deal with her saying she didn't want to speak to the media. I say on the surface, yes, the mental health issue is an issue. Because we just got done with May, and May, as we know, is Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes. But a few things I have that bother me is, one, how is it those people who are on the outside looking in, I'm talking about the fans for the most part, can look at those people, athletes, professional, and so on and so forth, and be degrade them or try to put them down because they make way more money than the average fan? Whose fault is it or who's to blame for that athlete professional and whatnot being placed up on a pedestal mm. that's not the player that's on you the fan nobody told you to go out and buy 600 million dollars worth of jerseys and shoes and so on and so forth Facts. and then when that player do x y and z you burn it that's your fault don't be mad Facts. be mad at yourself for that for Facts. not having perspective and then there's Absolutely. something i'm going to read from a, a book here that i've mentioned a time or two on the program for other subjects we've done the bernie kozar's learning to scramble this book here, if you all can see that. Yeah, Learning to Scramble. He said something, and I've had this book for almost two years now. When she said what she said, it brought to mind what I read, what he said, if that makes any sense. Yeah, for how much yes. wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, right? <laughs> say that fast 10 times. But something that he said and that I've touched on before, Brother Rich, you've heard me say this in the shop before we even ever started the idea of doing anything like this. Most people have responded to her, fans that is, it's part of the media's job to, to ask them questions. Okay, but that's overstating the obvious. That's not what that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is it is the type of, and you alluded to it, the type of questions right. asked by those media members. What I would call as a DAC, a DAQ, a dumb asked question. Do you understand? Right. I'm not gonna call no names here. And this was probably about six, seven years ago now. There is a local talk show here. In Cleveland, where the host asked his guest, a female, a woman, about her menstrual cycle. Oh, terrible. Do you understand? Terrible. And the lady was, in her response, she responded, but she was caught off guard by it. In other words, you just because you have a national platform, just because they put a microphone under your chin, you as the person with the microphone, whoever it is that's speaking or whoever it is asking the question, so to speak, in the case of the, the reporters or whatnot, have some have some decorum about what you're asking facts don't you you you're deliberately trying to bait these athletes and players if you would to say something specifically so that you can go and write about it remember Absolutely. now we've said before that journalism nowadays is not about substance or truth or being correct it's about who can say it first facts you understand and then people get all in an uproar about it no 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 if you understand how the game is being played then you can't mad with be mad when your team blow a 3-1 lead you, you, you get what i'm trying to say here so let me read to you hopefully we get double j back here pretty soon i just sent him um 
He's having some technical difficulties, unfortunately, but that's all right. We got my man, Bro Rich, here. Double J, if you're still out there, you know, we'd be glad you could jump right in because I was really going to go to you next. But I want to read to you a portion, again, from this book, if you all can see that. Well, Bernie, this is Bernie Kozar's book. He wrote this. He's talking about uh, before going into a game, not necessarily a regular season game, a preseason game or a playoff game, whether it's wild card, divisional round or Super Bowl or AFC, NFC championship or Super Bowl, because Herm had said it to us years before each game, whether it's regular uh, preseason, regular season or whatnot, has its own level of pressure, so to yes. speak. Facts. He said, not Herm necessarily, but, and I'm not going to read everything Kozar said, just to paraphrase with the part prior to the part I'm getting ready to read. In other words, people have a, he said, I don't understand how people cannot, who fail to separate what we do from the fact that we are people too. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you can't do that, that's not on me, that's on you. So he's saying, then, Bernie is, after the game, it was necessary to dial it all back and return to normal. This too is a process. To reiterate, you can't just flick a switch like you're turning the lights on and off. Tony Dungy, who's well respected now in the NFL community, am I am I not am I absolute wrong? Facts. Okay. Absolute facts. Absolute facts. Absolute And Bill facts. Polian, who's absolute also facts. well Another respected one. in the absolute. NFL and the sports community in general, they both are. Yes. He said Bernie did. Bill, Tony Dungy and Bill Polian used to tell me that there should be a 24-hour post-game cool-down period for mm. players. You can't just walk out of the killing zone, he used these words, and immediately act happy-go-lucky. I sometimes wonder if the media guys who stick microphones in players' mouths five minutes after a painful loss realize how close they are flirting with death now i know he didn't mean that literally but he's saying you know who 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 has not walking this earth had that moment where they saying to somebody who said something to them look not right now Fine. you get what i'm trying to tell you Fine. so what makes why are the players any different because they make millions that's asinine to th for that process and bass awkward Fine. but anyway the flirting with death he says for me it took every bit of a full day to chill out after a loss, but I'm going to substitute chill out with decompress. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. We've all had those moments where we go to our everyday nine to fives and they have somebody there over us who is so stuck on, who has a false sense of entitlement. Yes. You understand that they're not saying or instructing you to go do X, Y, and Z because it's a good thing or a bad thing, but they're just because they can. That's, right. That is that is the worst kind of person to me. You get what I'm saying? So you have to, if you got a family to feed, regardless of your status or whatnot, if you got a family to feed, um, then you got to be the bigger person, right. so to speak. You understand what I'm saying? In some cases. Bump that. We are all individuals. At the end of the day, how much money you make or how much money I make ain't got nothing to do with the fact that at when it's, when it's nighttime, we all got a bed to sleep in. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? We all need rest. We all got to go to the bathroom. We all got to brush our teeth. You, you see, them, there's Robin Williams. Did he? Because people associate, and excuse me for this ongoing rant, Double J, I'll let you weigh in on this right here. I promise you I will. But people associate having money as the answer or the end all be all. Number one, the OJs told you in 1970 something that that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? And we've all heard the expression money is the root of all evil. But let's look at Robin Williams. May he rest. You understand what I'm saying? Did he not have a lot of money? Yeah. Who not ordinarily, if you asked him a question, 50 people on the street, would you not want to be have been in his shoes? Who wouldn't have said no? Or you see what I'm saying? But he's saying, despite all the money, you don't know what somebody going through mentally. You understand what I'm saying? Because right. you got money don't mean you don't have mental situations or things that you're dealing with that can sometimes be overwhelming. You understand? So, I mean, look, I, I'm all for what she said. And as I, I don't know, Double J, did you hear what I just read about what Bernie said? 
No, no. Go ahead. And- oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me let me read that again. Uh, excuse me, all out there, you know, watching and listening. But I do my my double J wasn't here, so I want to read this again. This is in regards to Naomi's comments about not speaking to the media, of course, and citing mental health or whatnot. But this is what a football player had to say. And remember, now I've been showing people this book and talking about what he said for quite some time before we even ever got to something she said. So I just think it's interesting how he would say something and that she would say what she said. So it, it maybe to me is like how many more athletes feel the same way? You understand? Yeah. And here's what Bernie said. And he's talking about after a game. OK, the type of how you have to switch it on and off prior to it going into a game versus after a game. He said then after the game, it was necessary to dial it all back. And return to normal. This too is a process. Pay attention to that word process. To reiterate, you can't just flick a switch like you're turning the lights on and off. Tony Dungy and Bill Polian, who I'm sure Double J, you would agree, are both well respected in the NFL community and the sports community in general, right? Bernie says, used to tell me that there should be a 24 hour post game cool down period for players. You can't just walk out of the killing zone and immediately act happy-go-lucky. I sometimes wonder if the media guys who stick microphones in players' mouths five minutes after a painful loss realize how, cl- how close they are flirting with death. For me, it took every bit of a full day to chill out after a loss. And in that case, I would substitute decompress. What are your thoughts in regards to what he had to say? And, of course, a reporter asking a player, for instance, a question like, uh, do you think you should have fumbled at the one yard line to, to Ernest Biner? I don't know if the reporter asked that in particular, but I mean, you can see the pain in Biner's face. You understand what I'm saying? And to ask him a dumb question like that after the fact, I even at my age when I was watching the game, I was, I did, I was like, seriously, what would make you think to ask him a question like that? Go ahead, man, please. Your response. Oh, look, we, it's no secret that as we've highlighted in past programs that smaller markets typically need ratings uh, and they're willing to go to whatever length they feel is necessary, especially depending on the player. If they know that, Hey, this individual is traditionally a hothead, um, et cetera. So, but let me say this though, let me interject right quick for all you all there who are not familiar. Pete Rank, Pete Franklin, Pete Franklin got ratings too. And if you're not familiar with him, go look him up. But he did not have to resort, resort, excuse me, to indignancy and ignorance to get his ratings. We'll continue, Double J. Yeah, so knowing where we are in 2021, again, you see those type of highlights uh, from reactions. You know, the one that comes to mind is uh, Russell Westbrook with the what, you know, um, it, it's – it's again, it's done intentionally. However, from a player's perspective, they're absolutely correct. Um, I think some of the players have gone on record from the NFL specifically talking about how you have to be brainwashed to even play the sport. So it implies mm-hmm. that it, it is a kill or be killed on that field. In the minute that they step off of it, it you know, you, you could take a, a, a wild animal, you know what I mean? Like it, it, that's that's mm-hmm. really the way to look at it. You take the lion out of the cage. Uh, or you put it back in there, it's still going to swat at you. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you exactly, come close enough. So, of course. So you can't expect these players to just say, you know, you, you because it, they're darned if they do, they're darned if they don't, right? If if Absolutely. you come up to them and say, oh, man, you know, you fumbled at the one-yard line. And he goes, yeah, so it's just a game. Now he's, he's crucified for that. Yes. If he snaps yes. at you for yes. – for saying, you know, do you think I did it on purpose? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Now he's the bad, he's, he's still a villain. Yes. You, there, it's all done on purpose. That's why they call it a media circus. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, for those people, again, on the outside looking in, how do you have the audacity? If you've never had to turn it on, how can you be? mad when a guy at a guy who can't turn it off it makes no sense to me you have to i've never played nfl nba or none of that but i've played sports regardless of the level there's a certain 
thing that comes along with it that you have to be cognizant of. And you have to say, you have the foresight to say to yourself, well, if these things are going on at this level, just imagine it's increased to the hundredth power at that level. You understand what I'm saying? You have to be cognizant of that. For fandom with no perspective or devoid of is, is foolish to me. It just really is. So, Brother Rich, let me come back to you and ask you, where do you see Osaka? Because she's standing her ground, and I'm glad for her that and she's I love standing her ground. We yeah, love I do too. I do too. And, and she's she's showing them that she is the, ultimately the French Open is who loses. They don't have one saying. of the best players. And so we're no those of us who would have maybe tuned in for her or Serena. Serena's on her way out. Who are we going to tune exactly. in? We're not going to tune in to watch some of these people that want to talk. We want to exactly. watch this young woman play. So if, if exactly. you are more interested in what she has to say as opposed to watching her play, then that's the French Open's law. And so she's saying, <laughs> yeah. to, to, she's <laughs> telling them, okay, I'll be less of a distraction. I'm out of here. So now who, <laughs> yeah. who gets up yeah. with French egg on their face? Not her. She's <laughs> yeah. okay. And yeah. she's still wealthy. She, she wasn't yeah. going to make, make or break money whether yeah. or not she plays the French Open or not. And so she's yeah. determined to stand her ground. Now, I'm going to yes. slip, slip this in. You might get a little trouble by, by this reference. But this okay. is the LeBronification of sports. That LeBron ah. has taught athletes that they are the power. Take your power. Stand in your power. She's standing in her power. Her brand is powerful. She's a fantastic tennis player. She's gotten many of us who fell off from the game many, many moons ago to kind of pick it You're back up back. in terms yep. of our interest yep. again yep. and start watching yep. again. So, yes, yep. she's definitely the power. She's the brand. I, I, think, I think that they're going to have to acquiesce and, and work around her. And, you know, it was interesting. There have been a few NBA staff spoke out on her behalf. Absolutely. A few right. NBA, uh, couple of WNBA players. I don't want to call the names, but they are. In other words, she's not no lone wolf in terms of or she's not no uh, malcontent. Jay, like they, of we course, can't, want to paint the picture as. We, Jay, oh, let me ask you a question. How can we, on one hand, laud and applaud Kevin Love? For coming out and being a model figure for Thank mentioning you. mental Thank health you. and the players Thank and, you. and this and that and the other. And then you knock this young lady when she says, I have to protect my mental health. You don't understand what this does to me. We don't un we don't have compassion and understanding for her. The range doesn't extend to her. But yeah. if we can understand, uh, we can understand when Gronk wants to be a fool in the media. We can understand when people want to be a jackass on the media all the time. But we don't yeah. understand the young woman <laughs> saying, yeah. "I am a conservative person. Yeah. I don't want to be a clown for the media." We don't. Thank we don't you. like that. Thank you. Oh, okay. I, at the you end know, of the day, man, for me, all those people who sit on that side and point a finger at the other people on that side, you just your hypocrisy is being exposed facts. more and more each day. That's all it is. And you're going to, people like myself, Brother Rich and Double J, we're definitely here to call you out on it. <laughs> Absolutely. Go ahead, Double J. What were you going to say? Well, this, the game of tennis has, hasn't been challenged from this side, you know, from that side of the podium in a mm. very long time. Ah, okay. Here we go. Now, yeah. <laughs> the last of which that would have had the voice to do it would have been the McEnroe's. And okay. unfortunately, you know, we, we, they looked at it as a black eye for the sport at that point in time, of course, very well documented. Mm -hmm. They said, when, when you say oh, they, 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 who was they, they looked at it as a black well, eye. The purest naturally, oh, right? Okay, Anytime course, that there's a rogue that doesn't fit the, the model that you, you know, um, again, painted that, that, in your mind's eye. Absolutely, <laughs> you know, the, just like drawing yeah. that house, um, you know, right. So now we've reached a point, as you as you both have highlighted, with where mental health is and how it's being perceived uh, across multiple sports. I don't understand why this is any different. Mm -hmm. I, however, what it does mention and really highlight is that globally it's not there yet that if you notice you remember tennis is it you know they're they're flying you know country to country weekend week in and week out not mm -hmm. to a different state so different set of rules different criteria different ideology 
Yep. And there's a big uphill battle. And unfortunately for her, while we all totally agree with her, the rest of the world isn't quite there yet. And so we'll, we'll see what, what ultimately comes of it. But um, I certainly believe that this is a battle worth fighting for. If she were to retire today um, or, or never play again under the, that circumstance, it would be a shame and a loss to the game itself. Mm. And they, they would have to do some serious soul searching because the, the mental health of athletes, which is what ultimately drives those ratings, it's not a clay court. It's who's playing on it. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's good stuff, fellas. That's real good stuff. I'll just say uh, <laughs> we stand with Naomi. Facts. Simply because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Facts, facts. All facts. right, yep. good stuff. <laughs> Y'all know how to do the music. All right, let's get on to some NBA League action and talk about the NBA headlines or some headlines going around the, the league right now. In particular, and sort of almost kind of in line, don't shake your head, Double J, sort of, <laughs> kind of almost in line. <laughs> in line. He knows what's coming. Yeah, yeah that's what you, I, you already know. I, you, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to upload my new set of sounds, but you know, bear with me. They will be coming at a shop <clears throat> sold near <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot you could do that. Dang, oh. nabbit. Okay, yeah, all right, enough of that. Stop playing, man. No, um, sort of <laughs> some of the stuff that sort of falls in line <laughs> with what Naomi was speaking to in regards to the media. But a little bit more, I want to say, for lack of a better word or term, extreme, if you would. There's a, a problem in the NBA when it comes to the fans. OK, we've seen instances and incidents now where Kyrie steps on the, the Celtics logo. And of course, you know, the, 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 the whole idea of racism and then some fan throws a bottle at him. And then the, the people who, again, are sitting on the other side of the table, they want to respond as such as saying, oh, yeah, he was dead wrong. And he and he this and he like as if, though, he deserved being uh, having a bottle being thrown at him. And I'm saying like this. So what? He stepped on the logo. Big deal. At the end of the day, he stepping on the logo had what to do specifically or literally with that fan who literally and specifically threw a bottle at him. Or in the case of Trey Young, you spit. Shh, I, look, I know New Yorkers got a whole way about doing their thing or do, doing they want to. And I got mad respect for NYC, baby, because I was there. I spent some time there. I know how did they get down in the boroughs and such. But that right that, there. That, whoever did that is not from the borough. They're from. I, I know. I know. No. And I wasn't. That, in, that person is probably from Jersey. Yeah. Oh, OK. Wow. Well, ooh, I, ooh, would, ooh. I don't know that. But and I wasn't implying and such. What I'm saying is that one person does not speak for all of New York, so to speak. Fine. But that right there. You you spit. I, 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 I couldn't even. I'm, I'm coming to get you big, tall or small. You're going to have to. We're going to have to just whoop me. You see what I'm saying? But to not respond to that, and I know Trey didn't know that that had happened. You get what I'm saying? But to spit at somebody, to throw a bottle at somebody, popcorn, I know don't hurt, but even still, what I don't get is the ideology or this mindset that is two-faced. Players have regulations or rules or stipulations in place for if they go after a fan in the stands. We like we mentioned the malice at the palace. Yep. But yep. where's the reciprocity? Who's policing the fans? And just because a player makes a million dollars or two million dollars or three million dollars, what, how does it, I'm trying to figure out how does that justify you throwing anything at him? Once you, that's a line you do and crossed. If you listen, you want to hit me with the verbal barbs, talk about my fan. Like, yeah, man, listen, what, what you think, what other people think or say about me ain't none of my business. You know, I'm not, the dog barks at the moon, but the moon shows no indication to be disturbed. That, I'm not, that don't bother me. But you throw something at me, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to get you. And I don't know if many, too many people notice this because I didn't hear anybody really discussing it. But when 
Kyrie was walking out. Kyrie didn't realize the bottle had been thrown at him. It was one of his other players, his teammates, the guy with the thin braids. He realized it, and he was on his way up in the stands. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I get, you know, the players' side of things and why people hold players to a higher standard and so on and so forth. But I'm not mad at the player for being up there on that pedestal. I'm mad at myself if I'm the one who helped to, to put him there. But you don't throw, you don't, there's no justification for you throwing. I don't care what I did. That, and matter of fact, for you, for fans to react to the way that they did, I'm asking, what exactly that logo, what exactly is it symbolic of, Double J? Well, apparently it's, it's gang related now, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is where we've gone. You know, I, I was on record <laughs> for, pointing out the atrocities that were taking place while they were happening. Uh, because as a season ticket holder and, and, you know, shout out to the Detroit Pistons. Um, I was the member of the month and, uh, oh, congratulations. and so you was the host. Say that again. What happened? Member of the month for the Detroit Pistons. Oh, really? Pistons. Oh. So just, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeedy. And I'll give myself a button just for added measure. Unbelievable. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. What were you saying? You were saying something? Sorry. So I know firsthand that there is a code of conduct for fans. Sit. You cannot sit down without acknowledging this thing and then handing it to someone. Oh, oh so a, it's, something, it's something in writing. There is verbal it's been a while consent. Since I, okay, got you. Oh, okay, got you. Hey, so in other me, words, sir, did you see that thing that you're, you know, you may have otherwise sat on? I need it back. Oh, and so, so by you handing it to me, it implies that you looked at it and acknowledged it, and you're okay with it. But Double J, I think you need to clear up something for people. Uh, Jay, he's actually talking about to sit in a specific area. When you sit in a specific area, okay. if you're going to be that close where you can hit, touch the athlete or reach out to them, you have to sign a form. Under, so that's what he's talking about. He ain't talking about people up okay. in the nosebleed section where oh, I would be okay, sitting. Okay. But, but, but that's, a, that's a good point, though. Should it be for anybody that comes in the building? What, no. It most likely will be at this point. Oh, it's going to have to be. In, well, in some form of, but let, but I, I'm going to let him finish what he's saying, but I was just okay. going to say that okay. particular thing. Okay, to your gotcha. point, though, one of the things that were cha that had been changed throughout the years was the uh, they'd switched um, from giving fans bottles in general facts to oh, okay. to now pouring the beverages facts. into cups, in cups. because okay. they were flicking the caps towards the players then. So this has been something. So in reference to the the folks up high, um, and again. You know, it doesn't matter where you're sitting. You know, conduct is conduct. Okay, so um, let, let me let me interject here. So, in other words, I'm not saying these are your thoughts. But I'm just tossing this out in the air. People can't handle their liquor or the alcohol, and then when they do something stupid because they didn't had to one too many, it's like, oh man, I was drunk. No, that's no, not no, an excuse. No, no. It's no. Deep, way deeper than that, Jeff. No. Oh, it, okay. It, okay. It, All right. Uh, and just from what I've seen since it felt like everybody could come outside in general because everybody forgot how to act. Mm. And okay. this is, so, this is bigger so, than basketball, but so, so uh, we're talking some grown as juveniles. Is correct. Grown. It's this mm. deeper than and, that. But in these folks okay. specifically, and it's a shame that the NBA had to come out and say, Oh, now we're going to really enforce it. Well, what oh, were you wow. doing before? Well, before. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, and why are the players not their priority? We just talked about this a moment ago, with you know regarding the the Roland Garros situation. It's not about that logo. It's mm. about who's wearing that uniform mm. and who the opponent is. And unfortunately, these folks, as I alluded to a moment ago, they are just willing to to do these heinous acts knowing if they get touched they become the victim 
Mm. We yeah. just said it a moment ago. You you yeah. read Bur- you read yeah. the book. You read the yeah. book, Jay. That was yeah. after the game, after the yeah. final whistle. Yeah. These dudes are doing this stuff during the game. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, you, I, I, come I'm, on, I'm man. You. I think players should be allowed a time period to come down off of the adrenaline and all those things associated with that after having competed in a high stakes, especially, I mean, you think about the teams we love watching, you know, especially when it comes to football, you know, the Cowboys. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, we knew it. Niners. I'm just, hey, 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 hey. We I'm knew just, it was coming. I'm just, you know, I'm just helping you all out. You know what I'm saying? I'm adding insult to y'all's injuries. But, um, but I'm talking yeah, about them NFC never playoff happened games. With him in the kettle. Yeah. Oh, what? What's a kettle? <laughs> teapot. I'm a little teapot. Sure. Uh, anyway, but um, but I'm talking about some of those matches or or games where it was a pick 'em. You know, it was tough on both sides. And to lose a nail biter on a last second field goal or something, you know, you can't separate the emotion from losing a close game. And then you go right in the locker room and you may have been the guy and the reason why your team lost. And the reporter comes right to you and be like, so how you feel being the, the reason why your team lost? Man, get the. F- oh, my bad. What was you saying, brother uh, Rich? <laughs> well, look, I, I'm going to ask us to look at this a little deeper. Okay. And I, I don't hate to be this person because I'm forced to be this person. Okay. Um, it's very difficult to look at this and not see the specter of race all across the board here. Mm. That's a reality. Now, now, Double J said, since we've been back outside, people act like we don't know how to act. Let's look at what's happened since we've been back outside. While we were inside, there was a very divisive election in this country. Mm. let's think about where we are the professional athletes that we're talking about who is getting spat upon who is getting a bottle thrown at them who is getting words hurled at them who is being attacked in a certain way let's look at the players we're talking about russell westbrook right a very alpha male aggressive young black man kyrie Mm. irving Alpha male, outspoken, aggressive is definitely one. You could say he's, quote unquote, as the young people say now, for the culture. Mm -hmm. Trey Young, very outspoken, very uh, 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 loud, very passionate young man about his game. Right. These are all players who the former occupant of the White House, he refers to this type of athlete as you know, the kind of person that should just shut up and dribble, if you will. Now, oh, among the fan base, especially in cities like Boston, unfortunately, Boston with its history, these are, there's a lot of racism among these fans. Man, you can't get away from it. So they can't wait to get a chance to tell this young, rich, black athlete to, look, you, they want to say the N-word, so they spit. They want to say the N-word and they throw a bottle. Mm. They, there's an L, because if you show me one of them, Show me somebody throwing a bottle in the opposite team, a Laker fan or a Clipper fan throwing, a white Clipper fan throwing bottles at Luka Doddage. Now, if you talk about a Uh fan base that should be angry at a white boy in the league right now, that young man has destroyed people's dreams and careers. He destroyed the beloved Clippers last year. And (laughs) show me footage of somebody throwing a bottle at him. He's very spoiled. He's a European, spoiled European player, plays with a lot of flair. Is, is not one of the guys that goes along to get along and nobody seems to have a problem with him yeah uh, you know and, and let me add too it's one thing when fans transgress is what I call it you know when it comes to players yeah but in the case of John Morant facts the folks in Utah who have a history of Went after his parents. What they? This is what I mean by it's a, it's a line that you don't you don't cross. When you cross the line and go to that level, I'm obliged to meet you there. Period. But they've been crossing the line, Jay. Of course, we talked about this earlier. Yes. The malice at the palace was incited by a fan getting involved. The reason it got involved the fans is because a fan got involved before. A fan threw some a beer at Ron Artest. And Ron Artest did not, we don't agree that whether or not he should have gone up in there 
in the, in the uh, uh, whether you agree with that or not, that's your personal per opinion. But we're right. talking about what precipitated the violence. The actual violence was yeah. someone attacked him first by throwing beer on him. This yeah. is the kind of thing that's been in these arenas. You you, you don't want to see you want to see racism. Go in the Boston Garden, cheering for the opposite team as a black man in Boston during the Larry Bird era in the <laughs> North and in Boston. Yeah. And you, if you made it out of there alive, you were a blessed individual. And then people yeah. would look around at you and say, you did what? You went to the garden? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, shucks, some of the players themselves, Bill Russell in yeah. particular. Yeah. Oh, you know, we can talk about to that. The atmosphere. The players yeah. themselves tell yeah, you that. To the atmosphere. People talk yeah. about what it's like to play in Utah. People yeah. talk about what it's like. You're not playing in Atlanta and Chicago and L.A. every night. You playing in yeah. some of these places where these people have some real hostile disdain. attitude yeah. and disdain you. Right. for young black millionaires. They don't like you. Yeah, yeah, that's for darn sure. Double J, did you want to add anything to that portion or part of this uh, our NBA headlines before well, we get to some of the playoff action and the matchups and such? Well, first and foremost, I mean, come on, people, listeners, uh, you can support your team and and. I, I can understand the frustrations of paying X amount of dollars and, and taking an L, right? I mean, I, I did say I'm a Piston season ticket holder, so they're not there <laughs> right now. So I had to yeah. see a handful of those. But there's a human element to this. Um, you know, something I, I had noticed from the 2K games is that, you know, as boring as it would get as your player got better and you – you know, score a hundred points and set every record. You were living for what was happening after the game, which is, right. is finally giving people a sense of the human aspect of it, of uh, in interacting with other folks that they would incorporate into the game or understanding that player's journey to getting there. How you cannot understand that when you're physically there standing next to the person mm. and have enough common sense to live by the simple rule of treat others the way you want to be treated because truthfully i if the individual was standing next to me that did it and the player came and socked him in the mouth you know you asked for it and, and <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> yeah. why you know un unfortunately if the players are beginning to warn them. Hey, look, either the league needs to do something about it. And that's who I'm going to really put the emphasis on because Absolutely. it is your league. You are Absolutely. supposed to represent them and any govern. You are the governing body. Absolutely. If you got to shut it down and you got to, you know, say, Hey, no fans allowed at game three now because of what you guys did in game two, that's yeah. what needs to happen. I, dare well, I, I, say, I, I praise the the UEFA of all people, of all governing bodies that I thought I'd never say, because they actually do that. Yes, they will they'll close it down. They will do that. Will so, they? See, that's yeah, they will. I didn't they'll, know they'll that. close your stadium and you'll play in an empty stadium. They will that's do right. Too. They and will. You can take a, a, a. They can watch from afar. Yeah, you you take it. a nice L, mm -hmm. and then they all have to live with that mm -hmm. from the actions of someone. But but here's the thing. I. I I, I have a solution to this, uh, Jay and Double Oh, J. really? Please. And, please, and, and you could trade market. And Double J, you could sell it on the market in the morning. And if, if, if it wins, y'all just <laughs> take be, be well. Listen to this. this. This would solve this. It would never happen in another arena again. This is how we solve this. Listen up, you listeners. The next time you go to a basketball game or a football game, most of these audiences are white. Most times, it's a white person throwing the object. If all the, if some all the white people around that person turn around and beat that person's ass, y'all not gonna go to jail. Y'all not nothing's gonna happen, yeah. and yeah. they will not do that again. It's time yeah. for the good white people to stand up against the bad white people because yeah. it's always some young derelict or some old racist yeah. that does yeah. this. And if you good white people, the players wouldn't have to worry about it. You wouldn't yeah. get arrested. You yeah. don't go to jail. You're not going to get a crime. Yeah. You ran up in the White House and you didn't get no case. 
So you're yeah. not gonna get a, you're not gonna get a problem if you At no just, NBA arena. No, you're not gonna get a problem in the NBA arena. Matter of fact, yeah. everybody gonna turn around and clap and applaud you, and <laughs> yeah. you're gonna be a hero. Yeah. You, so don't worry about it. And even if you caught a case for the night, all your all the white people can they got enough money they would put together and bail you out anyway so you'll be good yeah. so that's how you solved it. it would never happen again I yeah what you that. you saying uh hey look here buddy you ain't gonna mess it police up with your the rest own of us. neighborhood exactly yeah. Yeah. police you ain't your own to... neighborhood and that's why double j pointed out to us what you say uefa does because uefa says okay you 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 you, you coming up in here you acting a fool we're gonna punish the whole neighborhood everybody gets punished for everybody this is exactly what i'm tomorrow. saying because yes. you know what? That would change everything. Yes, if, you, change if, everything. if you're if you're James Dolan, and now your vacant stadium that because <laughs> yeah. you know you otherwise yeah. hadn't yes. shown you cared about anything but profit for the previous decade, yes. yeah, and longer yeah. is now vacant again because of your inability to, you know, enforce conduct amongst your fan base. But you'll have, but security don't know who uh, Patrick Ewing is. Facts. They all over that. Yeah. Oh, my bad. And that's um, oh, okay, yeah, that's gotcha. But yeah. a fan yeah. can, can spit yeah. on somebody. Yeah. No problem. But Spike Lee can't go through the back door. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. that that's my solution is uh, punish these owners. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, you just lost the revenue from it. We're still going to have it there. You're going to still pay the light bill and you can have all your people there still, except for the fans. The ones yeah. that actually pay the ticket fees. And now you got to refund them or hope it goes to game six that they got their act together. And better yet, it would send a message to the rest of the league. But what do you think together. happens? This is America. This ain't this ain't Europe. What do you think happens at the next game that somebody does that? When they know that the team, this is that we playing seven games that are, now check what happens. We're in, we're in this uh, arena and our team is in the final. But in game two, one of our fans does that in Boston. They then close down our arena for game five, right? When we're coming back tied 2-2, we can't see game five. The next time that happens in the arena, the, the fan that does that, where this is kind of thing is on the line for game seven. And, and to you're your talking point, about, that's he exactly. might get a murder charge. Yeah. Let, let's be yeah. honest. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and you're talking you know, about yeah. an arena like Philadelphia with passionate fans like Philly or Chicago or Boston. You somebody will get a murder charge in that. Oh, kind of and, and make no question, Philly. And I ain't stereotyping. I'm just. Oh, I, I know. That's what I'm not playing. Philadelphia. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Philadelphia. They was throwing snowballs at Santa yes. Claus yes. and yes. kicking him in the back. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Philly oh, fans do not. Philly yes. fans don't play that. Yep. You mess yep. up my season tickets if you want yes. to. Yes. Yeah, player. Yeah. You know, and matter why we playing. Uh, and that's unfortunate in a lot of cases. Uh, what a few cases I'm familiar with, but out there in LA, you know, them Raider fans and them oh, Dodger we, fans, oh, absolutely. you know, what I mean, a couple folks that met it. they demise, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. out in the parking yeah, lot. And bad, so move so forth. To wear, bad move to go to Chavez Ravine in anything other than Dodger gear. Bad yeah, move. I mean, Sorry, you know, man. you know, it's, it's, it's unfortunate, um, but it's a bad move. It is. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's going to a Raider home game. With anything other than the Raiders colors on, or going yes. up to the Bay Area and yes. rooting against those teams, yes. they're just certain fan bases. You don't want to yeah. go to Pittsburgh and root against the Steelers. That's not that's not a, yeah. a good experience. Hey, yeah. and while you while you're playing, there were two. I'm not gonna mention their names. Well, in part because I can't remember them. You know how senility sometimes kicks in, in, in at any uh, given moment. But there were two news reporters, or newspaper columnist decided to do some sort of experiment and they went to a Browns game with Ravens jerseys on. That's all I'm going to say about that. I know that wasn't good. (laughs) It was not good. And one of them happened to be a lady and oof. Yeah. uh, You know, some guy, some fan from afar who was asked, you know, did you see it or whatever? He said, oh my gosh. He said, I'm not buying tickets. He said, that's it. I'm not I'm my sure. last year for coming. I'm you know sure. what I mean? He said, because I'm surprised. Not as good. A, no, that's but not hey, good. You can't play with fan bases like that. Nope. And they yeah. Know, yeah. 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 I mean. Remember, I'm, we, you've reminded us on this platform several times and we all know fan is short for fanatic. Some of these people yeah. take it very, very, very yeah. seriously. Yeah. Is it? And yeah. if you ask them to police their neighborhood, because these they know these people off time. So they've seen and but but unfortunately a, a lot of times, except in the case of these Uber rich season ticket holders, a lot of times these are people who are just coming to one big game a year or something like that. Two big yeah, two games I know, a year. I know, yeah. I know. But I mean, you know what? I I won't 
dismiss the fact that the NBA has, in a few of the cases here, the most, of course, the most recent incidents, barred fans for life or whatever it is. You know what but I mean? But what does that mean, Jay? That's what yeah, everybody's that's asking. What does that mean? I'm well, no, 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 no. I'm no, barred no, no. for life from doing what? Going to the yeah. garden? But I can yeah. go to the Miami arena. Well, I'll just go harass you in Miami. I'll just go harass you in Philly. I'll go with a Denver. I'll go to LA games. I'll yeah. go wherever I want to go. But but what I don't what I don't know is if let's say the the barment from that particular arena, if it's something put on paper that's passed around to other leagues about this particular person. Well, it's maybe kind of hard to be point that person. I mean, you got twenty thousand some people absolutely trying fact. to come into an arena or whatever. Absolutely. Yeah, especially in the day of COVID yeah. and mask yeah. wearing yeah. and ID and COVID yeah. vaccination and unvaccinated. Yeah. They're not going to add another thing to clear to come in arenas approved yeah. by because then Florida will make its own rule that you can't do that, and then uh, Colorado will make another rule, and California it, it'll never be uniform, and they yeah. know that already. So it's it's good PR to say. That person was banned for life. But come on, man. There's no such thing. Yeah, no, that's, that's why you have to squash it at the league level. Yes. And, and, again, let the players do what they were going to do last year. Remember? They they had the opportunity then when they said, hey, we're not playing today. Yeah, I wish they would. I, I mean, I wish they would. But because, I, you know, ultimately – they have to – the only way to get their attention to get real change is to mess up people's money. And but the, the players are not going to do that. And when, unfortunately, we know they yeah, have that kinda, kind of power. To, yeah. They do have it, but they're not going to use and this it. Is, but this is why I always get so upset about their representation because this is – you know, the, that yeah. lawyer or whoever your representation is is supposed to be the one taking that up for you. And demanding, hey, this yeah. this better never happen again. Or what are the results or repercussions? You shouldn't be waiting every five to seven years and say, you know, all right, we'll add that topic to the next CBA. And if <laughs> yeah. something happens, no, now we'll no. change it. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are they going to wait for again? Somebody yeah. to go get punched in the mouth. Yeah. And then it becomes yet another stain of, oh, this uh, for, you know, in this case, the NBA, because that's what we're talking about. Oh, yep. look, it happened again. Oh, you know, again, it, you, you, they can change it if they want to. Absolutely. And they're choosing not to. They know, we, we say say that. That, some, some things are deserve immediate amendment immediate right now. Attention. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But there are those of us who say that the NBA is just as racist as the NFL. They just have better PR. They do. Yeah, the, well, the NBA yeah. has better PR. They put a better face on their racism. They will put black lives. Black, the NFL won't pretend black lives matter. But the N NBA will pretend black lives matter by putting it on a logo, or putting it on the floor. But they won't really treat the players and give the players the kinds of rights and autonomies over their bodies and their art craft than this this. This this game that they've developed and enhanced over all these years, because we act like the NBA is the same NBA it was even when we started watching it, or when our no, parents were watching. Absolutely. It's a no, very course. different yeah, game it's today. A very different game. No the world is that. different. Yeah, and and, and this and is that, why I, we applaud, whether uh, Barbershop likes it or not, we applaud from a business point of view what LeBron James era has meant to NBA players. And their empowerment, because prior to him, what they did didn't I, have this much when empowerment. Did I, what did when did Barbershop Jay ever disapprove of that aspect? Uh, okay, no, I have not. Uh, ever. Uh, don't, try, don't try to throw that uh, in there. Uh, <sighs> don't try to. Uh, my check it up, uh, listeners. Oh boy. Uh, audience, go check the tape. That's all <laughs> yeah. we can say. Check the tape. Check the tape. He won't give himself one of those buttons. Oh. No, you got the button. You were waiting on it. See, you all do this every every so often. Yeah. You all set yourselves yes, up. Yes, Mr. Cobb. That's yes, right. Mr. That's right. Yes, and, and still to this day, Double J, you have oh, not man. you have not yes, explained to us why when we see your steel shot, you have a picture of the Chicago Bears in the background. Go Bears, though. Monsters of the Midway. Well, wait a minute. Anyway, wait a minute. yeah. Is that the Chicago Bears, or am I missing something? It, it, let me, it let me adjust is. my it frame. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, okay. So, so special shout out to Bears Fit. Um, those guys have, uh, you know, well, that's a. I, I'll save you the, sh the shameless plug. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> during my my uh, time over in Lake Forest, and oh, uh, okay, you know, yeah, yeah, good oh, group over right. there, Lake Forest, Illinois. Okay, then. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Be gone. <laughs> yeah. Be gone. 
All right. Can we slide on over and last but not least to get us on out of here for the end of the day? Let's talk about these NBA playoffs so far. Now, I don't know about you all, but we'll start with the Wizards and the Sixers. Brother Rich, outside of Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook, now I applaud them for getting that one game. They, from start to finish, they just play with a different intensity. But I don't see them coming back and beating the Sixers, even without Embiid, who went down again, unfortunately. Uh, I don't see the, the Wizards beating them because their style of play after those two players, again, Bill and Westbrook, I'm just not sure what to make of them. The way the, the way they they the way the Wizards do it overall, I'm I'm still left wondering. Like I, I have, some hope, be I have some hope that Hachimura will be a good, consistent NBA player. Well, he he's yeah he's starting to show However, he's starting to show himself. You're absolutely right. So we can move on from that. There's no chance there. That's that's uh, not going to happen. That Philly is just way too talented. Let's be honest. yeah they are even with Embiid being out. Yeah, even yeah, with Embiid yeah, being yeah, out. Embiid being yeah out. because. Ben Simmons really gets into his thing when Ben Beat is not on the floor running things. So, I, I mean, just what, he, what? The, what happened? Know, I'm, oh, I'm okay, going to yeah. remain a Ben Simmons oh. fan, even though uh, we know you don't like that. Ben Simmons. We it's know not wrong with like that. that. No, okay. I just don't like the I don't right. like the fact that he can't it's hit okay. free throws. But it's, go ahead. Well, he can't. Um, he can. Shaq yeah, he can't. That's him. yeah. That's yeah. Right. Shaq got the ball in. Yeah, but Shaq wasn't. Shaq didn't wasn't dominating the ball either. Your favorite player can't hit him either. Yeah. Oh, who my, who my favorite player? Andrew Tony, <laughs> Doctor J, as I said, I Mark agree Price. That, I agree that Philly is the best. Season, okay, uh, is the best I don't have no season. favorite player in the Today BA right now. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, <laughs> not no more. Yeah, oh, I don't. Uh, Double J, Knicks, Hawks, brother, Rich, you can weigh in on this too. Oh. Seeing how you take over for Spike Lee on Thursdays and Fridays. <laughs> uh, oh man, <laughs> Knicks got a three-one lead over the Hawks right now. <laughs> I, I I watched a few of the games and, and I'm surprised I've been able to have a chance to sit down. I did come back off a of vacay, and while I was on vacay, that's good. Able to, that's good. Yeah, sit down and catch a nice little bit of yes. action from uh from a few of the games. Uh, and I saw one of the Knicks Hawks games, and uh, I'm a I'm I like Julius Randle, I really do. But I it's that whole idea about playoff experience it can't be under. Yeah, it can't be underscored. Right. It can't be underscored. Because it's a different type of pressure. And I think the lights are a little too bright for them right now. But, uh, you know, this whole line from way back when about Tom Thibbs running his players in the ground during the regular season, you know, that seems to kind of be showing itself too. Derrick Rose, he just seemed to be out of gas. You know, kudos to him. At this stage in the game, the guy's playing almost, what, 35, 38? That's the problem. That, yeah. you know That's I mean? the problem. Yeah. That's it right there. Is a, yeah. he's, you he nailed doesn't it. doesn't have anything left in the tank yeah. because yeah. he has no – Julius Randle has failed in terms of – not. He hadn't, I don't even know where he's been in this thing. Nobody yeah, know. knows. Yeah. Every morning he trends on Twitter. And the game yeah. I saw, he was an embarrassment. However, yeah. you must give the Knicks credit. And that's what they had. They had a regular, a good regular season team. Atlanta is yeah. just a better team. They have more talent. Trey Young is one of those dragging young the Knicks right that now. Is the oh truth. my gosh, he's dragging the this, Knicks this right is a now. Good point to say this. Check the tape. Somebody said on this platform, and it's been oh saying for the last gosh. several years. Wait a minute. That there's a lot of young talent in the league, and that the the league, the talent in the league was such that they were going to make the league very competitive going forth. And what oh. we see is the league but is that, becoming. Does that, does that talent include Ja Morant? <laughs> of course it does. We're oh, gonna get to that series. Oh my gosh! We are getting to that series. Come on! We are getting to that series. I've been checking the tape. We're I can't recall. Series, right? oh, hey, oh, hey, listen. What? I got. I got oh, two words. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> This is I got, terrible. I got, oh, I got two oh, words. Oh. This is okay. terrible. All right. I got two <laughs> words for you. It's embarrassing I, at this point, people. Oliver North. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't recall. Uh, Bucks and Heat. My goodness. The Bucks dispatched of the Heat in quick fashion. Two things. One, they look a whole lot different with Drew Holiday running the show right. <laughs> than they did. Eric uh, Bledsoe, if that's his name. And two, I don't know, man. I'm not saying they would, but they run into the Nets. That might be a series. That oh, might stop. be a series. That might. Why? Stop. What you mean? Stop. 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 What you mean? Stop the madness. Stop what you mean? It. Stop. Listen, it. listen, listen, listen. Kevin walking... Durant is lethal. Oh my gosh! Kevin I'm not Durant denying that. I said it might be a series. I didn't Kyrie say they would win it. Irving is lethal. 
Okay, listen. Okay, on the net side of things, yes. Those three guys, Harden, Durant, and Kyrie, they can give you 50 on any given night. I'm with yeah. you on that. How do you how, – I mean, listen, I just – I just. Let, let me listen. say something controversial before we go on. Oh, please. You when, is your, when is that? You're you not saying something you controversial. Since you mentioned the Heat. <laughs> okay. Since you mentioned the Heat. I have okay. never been a Jimmy Butler fan. I don't – I do not believe Jimmy Butler can win a title by on his own as a leader of the team. Never whoa, been. Whoa, I, whoa. Jimmy yeah. Butler off base with this. Jimmy Butler is nice. He's a very good player, but Jimmy Butler is not that dude. Okay, never. so let me ask you this. You're hearing so you, it here. Jimmy okay, that's Butler fair. That's fair. That's never fair. Lead a team to a title. Not that's fair. Jimmy Butler. But somebody you, else. Jimmy Butler playing with somebody, playing as a second, maybe okay. a third. But he. But Jimmy Butler is not that guy. No. Okay, so not. let me ask you this. So then, d- what about last year's? Uh, run to the finals in the bubble. That, it that was, was exactly good. that. The bubble. And they yeah. did. So then, yeah. they, they were, they were the last the year's, championship. They were last year's Washington. They were they played their role as the Washington generals that had to okay, show so the show so wait, 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 wait. and then oh, just oh, come around and play. Oh, and okay, so then what about the Lakers oh, winning the title then? I so, just so, told you what it was. They uh, played their role. It was a bubble. All right. Okay, so it was the bubble. So we told Okay, so all right, so the, the okay, bubble. so bubble titles don't. And count. let me say, right, I'm with no, you. no, I didn't yeah. say that. I didn't say that. No, count. no, I'm not saying you did. I'm saying here's I did. Here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna no. say I'm going yeah. to a bubble to win a title. There's no player I'd rather <laughs> bet on his team any in the future than LeBron. If I'm going to a bubble, and it's about bubbleish and being in a bubble and being together <laughs> in camaraderie, <laughs> but. Matter of fact, yeah. good bubble, good <laughs> bubble. Yeah, you get two of them. Oh, stop it. So Jimmy Butler showed up and he played his ring. He played his role in the bubble. Okay, so in other words, right here, right now on national television, yes, you saying, saying that the Bucks should the Bucks and Nets run into each other? The Bucks don't stand a chance. That's what you're telling I'm me. I'm saying uh, uh, Brooklyn and six. Oh, okay, that's fair. And I wasn't I wasn't implying that uh, the Bucks would win. I just said it was it would be a series oh, worth here watching. We go. I didn't say that. I listen, you didn't let me finish. As always, you all never let me finish. And then you just run off you on the rented Man. mules. Kind of like a your rented owner mule. That, that girl, huh? <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> uh, oh, well, see how we're talking about the Nets. I mean, kudos to the Celtics for having a fighting spirit, but it's a wrap. Yeah. I'm, Facts. Again, Kyrie Facts. and, and Hard. But our boy Tatum is showing up. Kobe's disciple is showing up. You know, well, I love surprised. watching Kobe's so, disciples. That yes. means the, Kobe's oh, disciples but, showing up. Yeah, but we don't have we don't show a lot of love to Sabrina and Inescu, who, of course, Kobe did a detail on on her as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, she did. Yes. <laughs> Who's that? Again? Who's that person? Uh, Who's that? Who's person? Oh wow! Oh, really? Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Who's that person? <laughs> That's disrespectful. Uh, over, over in the West, or should I say on the West side, the Clippers so and the Mavs. Skipped, he, he skipped right over Brooklyn. He just yeah, of course. We, he went of right course. across of the bridge. What, 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 am I, what am I saying? What, what else you didn't you say, say nothing about he Brooklyn. Right across just, the bridge. I said the net. I said, speaking of the Nets, y'all wasn't listening. I said, speaking of the Nets. Them three guys, Kyrie, Harden, and Durant, all together on the same team, them capable of giving each individually giving you 50. Facts. I mean, my that. gosh. I mean, who uh the Celtics scored 126 points in this last game and still lost by double digits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all you need to know. What, what do we what are we gonna do? Talk for another 20 minutes about the Nets. Man, what's already understood? Need not well, be expressed past there, seven you minutes. Know. Crown the buck. Facts. Eight, eight I did, I did not. Oh here. my gosh. Yeah, facts. No, I did not. Okay, let me be more pacific, like the Barber little kid in the kindergarten. Today. Oh please. <laughs> I said, Drew. Okay, can we? Do we not? A, is Drew Holiday? Does Drew Holiday make the Bucks more formidable than uh, Bledsoe ever could? Absolutely. Okay. Does uh, Drew I, Holiday yeah, balance what, what the what Bucks doing, out man? offensively? Of course. Okay. So then why is it far-fetched to say that should they run into the Nets, it'll be a series worth watching? Because Kyrie's going to give him so much business. He's going to oh I mean he's going to he's not going to have it's going to be it's going to be a problem for hey, him. He's going to have okay. so much work on his hand. It's going to be a serious issue for the, him. Okay. The last time these guys ran into each other, okay. everybody 
got all excited. I think it was a shorthanded, uh, or it, maybe it was KD's first game back or something, and and it took a buzzer beater for the Bucks to win at home. Okay, why, this, why that, were they even that close though? Because you talking I just about told they've you. been. They've been exactly listen. We told you they, Kyrie had just come back. They've been playing with not their superstars the whole year. It's the first okay. time they're all they together. literally okay. have juggled their lineup the entire year. That's how okay. Like, all right, so this is only the tip game that they played. All three of them have played what together. Under the league. I, okay, I'm not denying any Jay, of that. Let me, you, you know, you know, this is the thing. This I'm is, not denying any of uh, that. I'm asking, would the Bucks Nets be a series worth watching? That's would, all I'm asking. It would be worth watching because sure. it would be okay. amazing to watch how you wonder how fast Brooklyn would dispatch them. Five, oh, six, that's so di- you know, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking six. That's so disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> so disrespectful. You're thinking six. Wow, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> anyway, like I said, uh, oh. just, can, can we please move on over to the West Side? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Clippers and Mavs, double J. Their series is tied 2-2. Two, two. This one is a toss-up. I think I heard Barkley say on Inside the NBA, and I kind of agree with him. I don't. I heard I mean, it that's, too. That's a rare rarity. He's or Kenny Smith actually was the one who said he said when the Clippers are doing what the Clippers do well, the Mavs can't beat them. When the Mavs are doing what the Mavs do well, the Clippers can't beat them. It's that's like, not it. No, that's, that's not the, it. That's not it. Big, oh, okay. Well, what Luka, is it? Luca is hurt. There's your answer. He's playing hurt. Seriously. And, and as soon as that happened, oh Charles Barkley, they got blown out in the first game. Oh, my God. As soon as, you know, once he was truly injured like that, uh, and, and yet they still ran him out there. Uh, so you got to sit him for a game. If now you can't. They really could have sat him for two and just then rolled him back out there and said, all right, well, now give it a go. You know, now it matters again. But, you know, look, the Clippers are going to end up winning this series. And just like we so. talked about how we talked so. about Tibbs, I don't know. I, I right now I don't know because I and that's I just it. That's what I'm saying. The series is tied two two, and even after four games, you still don't see enough from one side or the I, other I, to I, say. I, I, well, again, it's like you and your Zion uh, uh, Williamson comparisons. What are you not seeing? <laughs> did you see the last two games? Did you? Yeah, watch I did. Kawhi say and, and did, oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you see Game Four? How? how oh, wait, 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 they wait. Are dispatching yep. of these boys when the Clippers do. This is the team that everyone anticipated that Doc Rivers would bring this kind of fight out of this team. And here's, a, I, I sent you all a text the other day. Mm-hmm. That's in 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 right here in LA. This team is literally fighting for a piece of the ground in on championship turf. And if you're going to get for two years in a row dispatched by a relative rookie to the NBA and you are a team comprised of veterans and quote-unquote superstar athletes, you're going to get run out of town in LA. So, so wait a minute, did the Mavericks win two games? Of course they did, but here's the thing, Jay. They won two games because the Clippers ain't been playing like they everybody know they were supposed oh, to play. Oh, they have been doing, playing. They, they were, been playing they, pedestrian. They were playing very oh, pedestrian. Okay, okay. As Check though, the tape. As though they played just like they played last year. As though it's already expected they're supposed to be in playing oh. the Lakers in the next couple of rounds. They were playing like that, and you see what happens when you get like what did Tyson say? Everybody got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Oh, absolutely. So, so right, let's I'm... see here because as of an hour ago. You know, I'm going to tell you guys, they've been working round the clock, my sources have said, on Luca, on, on his neck. And so now he's supposedly feeling better. Oh, my gosh. I'm well, going to say I, this now. Whoever wins game five wins the series. Okay, I'll well, let me say. That. There we let go. Me, let, there ain't let no me, doubt about that. I totally agree with you on that. Okay, so well, let me say something he's that I said from the and beginning. This, this same Clippers group, as Brother Rich pointed out, which is the one that was supposed to be the kings of LA? And okay, so let me say naturally the rest of the league at that. And that'll be a game. Now, we're okay, well let me game. let me yeah. say what I've been this saying. This next one's going to be a war. Forever. Take the over, ladies and gentlemen. The storylines are creating the game. The no game nonsense. No Not the for story these guys. Lines. Come on. Yeah, no. please, Lucas. Lucas neck. What's no, wrong no, with no, Lucas no, neck? No, but, but Lucas no. neck. He slept wrong. Oh, he has a disjunctificated. Oh, oh, oh. He has a disjunctificated vertebrae of the third metacarpal down past the left lower lumbar. Wow. Man, stop it. Broke his back. Spinal. No excuses. I don't want no excuses. Program? Y'all don't know excuses. Cliff, <laughs> Cliff Paul, Chris Paul, Cliff Paul, whatever. State Farm. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear it. If you out there, handle it. 
Oh, you know what I'm man. saying? Put a Band-Aid on it or a tourniquet oh. or a rubber band. Wrap it up and let's roll. Mm. Okay, then. Man. Yeah, man. Uh, man uh, come on, man. At hey, he's been spending in- too much time up in that booth with Jerry. Yeah, you already know yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. man. Really? You know really? Know really? I'm, I'm not saying that he should do a Grand Hill. You know, if, you, if you're injured to the extent that Grand Hill was in, injured, yeah, then you shouldn't uh, be out there. But if you what just got a little... You just got to look. Well, we're not. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't. Uh, no, don't, you, you're not. No, no, no. You are not. You are absolutely I like that error, not. Error. Let's keep yes. our reference. Let's keep yeah, our reference. You are not. Too. You absolutely yeah. not do that. Let's keep our reference. We will not. Keep, no, let's no, keep no, it no, PG no. PG for the audience. Let's yes, it yes. It's Kobe, then it's. Yeah, 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 okay. Then it's the rest of them. You know what I'm trying oh, to say? Hey. Yeah. yeah. The man walked to the free throw line to kill yeah. him. Anyway, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, Thank yeah, you. right. You come from a different cloth. I'm just saying, these guys now, that's why I call it the Today BA. Yeah, I mean they had it has its moments, but man, these dudes now they break a toenail, yeah, man, and they out they DMP for the rest of the he out for remember season. like remember like Andre, Drummond, Andre Drummond literally was out a game for a broken yeah toenail. a broken literally. toe I know and I, I wasn't yeah. even thinking of that when I yeah. said don't get me but, started don't get me started <laughs> but Bertans for Washington what did he do he sprained his lower left calf injury muscle yeah, and yeah, and yeah. plantar fasciitis yeah. I don't, I don't, yes, what yes. happened they he was wearing the wrong yeah, size yeah, shoes yeah, they were shoes yeah, too tight man yeah, stop it man yeah, come on man yeah. come on man yeah right I got yeah. you yeah what happened is he went one for nineteen and was like man let me Facts. go on, let me go and get up out of this <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I can have her out uh yeah jazz grizzlies brother rich oh come on now i mean what how, how, what you're saying what, it was already uh, understood, already understood not be explained. Not i'm be explained. just saying yeah except ja- for the, the one shining presence of john moran and what he's doing and what he's showing the world and what he's producing again check the tape we said that the young players today these are some fascinating young ball players yeah. in today yeah, yeah fascinating amazing talent yeah i, I don't disagree I'm, I'm with you to a certain extent i just think that Donovan Mitchell is more and has been at it longer than Facts. Ja. Facts. And that's, and you know, you can see the difference with what Mitchell's presence does for the Jazz. And he's I mean, on a better team. He just yeah, you don't, have, it, you don't have the firepower that, that yeah, he needs yeah, to but, go against a team like that. Yeah, speaking, of, speaking of Utah and, you know, we'll uh, shout out to Donovan and, and uh, what he's done for, for Ken Garf Automotive. Uh, got other half here. Hopefully, a future sponsor of the program. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, and uh, shout out, shout out. Uh, shout out. I will say this though, John, in that group, with I think Jonas is someone that uh, they're going to have to to duplicate because he's a human double double for them, and mm-hmm. and, and not like an Andre Drummond way. Um, Brooks sometimes I think gets them into trouble. You talked about it with with uh, Milwaukee. Yeah, you talking about Dylan Brooks, yeah, yeah. And sometimes he can, sometimes he can't. Get you know they unfortunately. Jared are, Jackson uh, too. Yeah, he's yeah he's not he's not he's not he needs a he needs more time I think you know before he makes a comeback comeback. Well, you hear you heard it here first again. There's, none of that's gonna happen because Jaw's gonna be gone before that. So as he gets his contract time, he's out of there. Yeah, I, I don't think a super max can keep him. Not gonna. Keep I, him. I really don't because if you look at the rest of that team, you know Brooks has been. I mean, man, Brooks played at Oregon in like two thousand two. Like, it, like it, it's it's been a while. Yes. Jonas yeah. was an expendable piece from Toronto for them to get over the hump. You yeah. know, all yes. so. It, you you look around him and he's he, you know the writing's on the wall. Absolutely, he, he's, he's going. The, the question is going to be, you know, not if he's leaving, but where man, is he going? Yeah, when and where? Yeah. All right, I'm, no, I think that's fair. Yeah. So the, the question fair. becomes at that so the, point: so the, Does the, Miami the, become a destination? Because they're talking oh, about absolutely cleaning becomes house. a destination. Absolutely becomes a de- Miami will always be a destination. If, if I'm you Pat Riley, branding Pat Riley's branding will keep if, him a destination, and it's it, Miami. Yep, and if I'm Pat Riley, I say go ahead. I'm gonna send Jimmy. I'll do a one for one. Everything, and I because you know Seriously? I believe enough in the rest. Of I that trade four. Jimmy Butler straight up right now yep. for for John Moran right yep. now. Right, really? Yeah, I trade Jimmy Butler and somebody else for John Moran right. Look, now. and it's it's yes. it's nothing personal, Jimmy but I, not if you guy. knew, you know, Jimmy is a very competitive Whoa. player in person, but there's an extent where he's greater than what he is in his mind 
and it where it becomes detrimental to the group around him. Hmm, that's interesting. And know. it was uh, explosive in Chicago. And Chicago, as a franchise, has not yet recovered from yeah. that explosion. That yeah. that about atomic bombed that franchise. Yeah. Oh, I don't disagree with that. We shall see. Uh, okay, this these last two before we get out of here, let these folks get back to watching some of the NBA basketball and all the other stuff that's on the sports <laughs> menu for today. Nuggets Blazers, Brother Rich. Blazers. No Jamal Murray do the Blazers. Blazers. And Dame Blazers. Lillard outlast them. Dang time. Dang time. Yeah. Dang time. You don't think so? Okay, Double J. Double J shaking his head Ooh. no here. What, you guys time. know why. <laughs> Who do you but Porter Porter is balling for the Nuggets. And it's about time. You know, the, here's the here's the yeah, but the lap, but the but game four with the Blazers, they put on a clinic. Yeah, they right. They put they put on a clinic. But here's they, the thing they, though. Do you believe that because now it's a best of three, as you pointed out, you know, Dame yeah. time is Dame time. But can that supporting cast do what they just did in game four, two out of these next three games. In my opinion, the answer is no. Uh, I, I don't I, believe I say, they can. I hope they can't. I say I don't yes. Do why, but I say <laughs> yes, but it depends on how the supporting cast is utilized by the guards. You have to use Nurkic mm. in more situations other than asking him to clean up your misses. I, I was going to say, you know, in, make, in terms of make teams, Joker work. You know, make Joker have to really work for his for his on the um on the offense on the defensive end. Is you it got to make him work? Regardless of, the, I, I think personally, I think this believe th I, this needs to happen. They need to lose this series because they, they need it. Portland does, and the reason why is what? this team has been mismanaged. Okay, you got a glimpse of Game Four of what how okay, it so should they win the happen. series. It, what are you what you're saying is they have warts. From top to bottom. And if they win this series, yeah. it kind of covers up the warts or prolongs it or gives them a stay. This was a team that just a few years ago was was ready, you know, when it had white side and still had Mel, still had the majority yeah. of this court. Yeah. That we literally believed and could see, if done correctly, could have knocked off the Warriors. Facts. And so to the fact that they nobody's doing it correctly anymore. They That's just it. It's and a it's, freelance. So, you know, a loyalty from Dame is one thing. And, you know, he'll, his name will be up in the rafters, you know, certainly at the, the, the Rose Garden. Um, but it's unfortunate because the pieces are there. Yeah, and I know. I, I know. I, that's why, personally, I would prefer they lose the series beyond the financial implications of it, or ramifications. But, they they need a reset. They need and, and not by self destructing the team. They need some new management to 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 get them over this this hump because it's only going to get harder. Yeah, yeah, and I say by default, uh, I'm picking up something on you all's phones back there, getting a little echo. But by default, I say the Blazers win. And what by, what I mean by default is there's the the Nuggets have no Jamal Murray. You know, having Jamal Murray and the Joker, you know, uh, the series would be over. That's yeah, why. I'm, makes, uh, that's what I'm already kind of. That's why I'm highlighting yeah. it. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Th right. I, think. I mean, this isn't just warts, man. This is this is eczema. You know, like it's oh my it's gosh, all, all over. Oh, you know? oh my gosh, yeah. really? Who needs yeah. the visual? Gee, my knees. You know, they're not going <laughs> to yeah. go anywhere, and it's and it's unfortunate. It's very yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, well, that's why I watch at home with my house shoes on and my ice cream. Okay, last Good but time. not least, Brother Richard's favorite team, the Washington <laughs> Generals and the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad, my oh, bad. Man, there we go. Sorry about that. My mm. fault. The Los oh, Angeles, man. the Los Angeles Fakers, Lakers, or mm. whatever you want to call oh, them. Man. Yeah, Hollywood mm. Stakers mm. Uh, and the Phoenix Suns, of course, are tied 2-2. Brother Rich, are you surprised? By the Suns and Lakers being tied in this series, I am surprised. And, and really, can, uh, yes, I'm. I'm surprised, and here's okay. here's why. Because this is Phoenix's arrival. I thought that the size of the Lakers would give them too much trouble. 
Um, I had not anticipated that that Phoenix would show up in the manner that they did because of Chris Paul's injury, and they're back. Now, here's the interesting thing for me in this series, is that so far in this playoffs, the refs are letting them play. This is that old school basketball. Yeah, I found that to be interesting too. I I love that they're letting them play basketball. If they let them play, the rest of this series is going to be very interesting. Tonight's game will set the tone. If they let them play, the Lakers are in trouble if they let them play. The okay, yes. so then let me ask you this question. Does a 36-year-old LeBron have anything left in regards to what he did so many moons ago against the Detroit Pistons when he went uh, off but, but, but again, 75 I, I, points in the fourth no, quarter? No, I don't, or whatever I don't the think there's any relationship to that person and this person today. No, I don't think so. No? None. None. Double J, what say you? Suns, Lakers, are you surprised – that this series is tied 2-2, and we'll let you all get out of here and watch the rest of some of your NBA action because it is indeed fantastic. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll give myself the button for that one. I yeah, can't thank I said you. that. Yeah. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Double J, <laughs> what say you? No, I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, look, the, the Lakers, when they lose, it's because everyone's hurt, right? It's huh. as simple as that. <laughs> when yeah. healthy, and and again, we're hearing now that that KCP is a full go today, and AD is a game time decision. So you know they. they Did as you say you Michael Kidd Gilchrist? Is that what you said? Uh, uh, Contavious hmm. Caldwell Pope. Uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got you. Former Piston. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. Greg Oden. <laughs> Michael Oliver Candy. Is that what you said? Uh, my uh, bad. Hey, underrated. Uh, yeah, right. Clippers. Who, 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 Those 0203 Clippers, Corey Maggetti. Yeah, oh, they, yeah, Corey yeah. Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> my fault, man. I don't mean to be butchering nobody's last names. But all I'm saying is, with all due respect to KCP, by NBA standards, he does not remind me of Michael Cooper at all. None. Okay, maybe because of no. the wristbands. I don't know. But go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, ultimately here, we, we know what the result's going to be. The the uh, self proclaimed king and uh, his his uh, sidekick AD are are going to advance, and you know Chris Paul will have to do some more soul searching. Or are you sure? Because AD heard his little winkle tinkle. Well, that's why I'm saying he's a game time decision, but he's oh, he, okay. he's going to play. He's and, you know, to a d- game time decision. Now? Yep, yep. Okay, so yeah, again. The, the reality of it is this, like you pointed out a little earlier. Oh, story the storylines. Yes. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So, and oh, and that's, why, saying that's why that's why I'm yes, saying yes. Check the tape. Of, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Check the yes. tape. I've we been have to saying give, it. We have to one. give you credit on that one. You have to well, you go, yeah, you don't have to, but you will. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> you and you and Jerry oh, were yes, right about that. I'll pay you. I'll pay that, and you said that. That's true. Eating, eating gumbo hey. on the yacht. Yes. Hey, leave, leave Jerry out of this. This is all Jay. <laughs> Jay that's all Jay. Check the tape, baby. Check the tape. Yeah, well, you know, again, man, going forward, we'll see. Of course, we'll come back here once the first rounds are done and whatnot and have our say then. But in the meantime, and on that note, it's been fun. We got to run. We appreciate y'all for listening. Don't forget to check us out right here on Spreaker. Excuse me on StreamYard.com, or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, is of course, as we are live here, as well as the shop's Facebook fan page. And if that don't work, I want y'all to Google it for my mans, Be Rich, Double Peace. J, and all those who follow and support us, we say thank you. I'm Barbershop J, and you've been listening to the Shop Report. And remember, next time y'all want to know what's really going on, man, come to the shop. Walk-ins are always welcome. Holla! <laughs>